guys. So today I'm talking about my paper for the cryptography class at Dakota State University. And here we go. So my paper is about how to anonymize yourself on the internet. So we're going to be looking at uh, stuff like Freenet or Tor. So, and they both work on the same way where if you're the node down here, we'll call you N, and you want to send data to an illegal website for your author authoritative country, we'll call it K. Then instead of going through N, let me select a different color here, we're going to go through some intermediate nodes, I1, I2, and I3, just to make it simple. And by the time it gets here, your country only controls this black section. And maybe the, all the rest of this exists in the Cayman Islands. And so now your country can't track it back. You just can't do it because it's hard. So now, how does it do this? Well, if we base it on the RSA algorithm, just because we all understand that and it's easy, so we have RS. Oh boy, I can't spell RSA. So we know how that works. It encrypts. It's a public-private key pair. And so if you're N and you want to send data to I1, we're going to take our packet Z, so packet Z, and we're going to put it through the RSA algorithm, and out we're going to get the encrypted Z. And then so if I1 wants to send it to the next phase, maybe it takes E of Z, and now we have E of E of Z, and now we can keep doing this, and if there was only one node path, they could trace it pretty much back, hey, someone's looking at this, let's trace it back. So really what these do is you have a ton of these, so we'll just put some dots there, I2, I3, I, N, and they all do this all the way out. So I, 4, I, N, plus 1. And then at the end, they might all go to different websites. K. Okay. So then this encryption is where it really starts building up. And, you know, if I was just encrypting it and wrapping it, I would have um, and encryptions, but no one would be able to unread it or unlock it. So there's a couple possible ways to do this. I can either encrypt it, so if I have N, I can either encrypt it with I1's private key, I1 private key, Or, I know that somewhere down the line, uh, we'll draw it out here, there's I n halves, where it's halfway down the line. So then I could encrypt it with I of n halves private key. And then as I get farther and farther along the string, you know, the one right before I n halves is encrypting it only with I and have key so then you can start decrypting it all the way down but there's several different ways to do it and they all rely on the key pairs but as we know RSA is kinda slow to do so the way that I think they actually do it is that they do a symmetric algorithm between two nodes at once and then um, the intermediate node will read the data and then he will encrypt it to the next node using a symmetric algorithm and then the key pair exchange will go on between 
all the nodes using RSA. Um, we'll call this DES just because it's simple three letter word. And so that's how anonymizers basically work and they get you through the firewalls of countries like China, Iran, Syria, all these countries that don't want you looking at certain stuff. And that's about it.